Hi everybody, welcome to your gold market update and charts of interest for today, Monday the 16th of January 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets, to lead you around what's happening today. Looking across the news wires, of course, we had a positive session on Wall Street on Friday as markets brushed off mixed bank earnings and focused on the cooling inflation expectations. So essentially what happened is we started down initially and then as the day progressed in the US, we gathered a bit of steam and finished positive across all the major indices. We do see earnings season ramp up this weekend. It is worth noting the China COVID situation. They did publish a report over the weekend that suggested their deaths were higher than originally anticipated. This has had a little nudge on material stocks this morning. US futures are near neutral in early Asian trading. Just showing a slight tick up as we record this. Asian indices are mixed. The Nikkei is underperforming. The ASX is up between about 0.7 and 0.8 percent, as it's been for most of the day so far. European equity futures are also pointing higher, and the VIX is importantly down below 20, suggesting markets are in a good place. The US dollar, however, is not in a good place. We see the US dollar index drop to eight-month lows. Gold has breached that 1900 level and is currently trading around 1920, and copper is trading higher to that key 420 level, but it has paused there today on the back of that news from China. Oil is also testing the top of a trading range. Bitcoin was one of the stories of last week and we reported that it gapped up to 19. It gapped up again to 20,000 and hit highs not seen since early November. That's significant. We've got a key level that we're tackling at the moment around about 21,000. As you've already suggested, earnings season is in focus this week. There's a little data out today that's going to move markets, so it'll be a day dominated by the technicians. We did see some Japanese PPI a little hotter than expected at the start of the session. Tomorrow is interesting in Asia. We've got the Australian inflation number and Chinese GDP. In the US, things will ramp up on Wednesday from the data front. But before then, it's earnings that are going to be the market focus. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. I'm going to start by looking at XRO, so Zero Limited in the financial software space. You can see once again we've bounced off this level around about 67.30 and we're now trading towards the top of the range at 75.40. If we get a breach of this, the upside on this could be significant. So a critical point for the market to decide whether we're to move up from here or whether we're to bounce and start to edge back down again. Lots of action against the USD, as we've already intimated. And you can see there, if we look at an Australian USD chart, you can see we've now just edged over that critical 70 cent level. This is really important in terms of a psychological level for markets. So that's the daily chart. If we breach this 70 cent level with any vigor, and there again, you can see how important it was back here in July, then we perhaps are going to see a sharp push up to possibly retest these August highs at around about 71 and change. Just to put this into context on a weekly chart, you can see how big this is in terms of a potential movement. The other thing around about that 7150 is this 200 MA on the weekly chart that may also give markets a chance to pause. But the US dollar remains under pressure and the charts are showing that. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.